Hey, what's good, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy, Richard. This is the Everything Channel. Today, before we get into anything, please give your boy the big dog thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. And do not forget that beautiful bell icon for your boy. That's all I'm asking. Hit it for me. Just one time. Maybe two times. Maybe three. Maybe three. Maybe three. Maybe three. That's all I'm asking. That's all. But today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to take some of my beautiful folks that are 40 and even older back down to memory lane. Because if you have got that itch for some of your favorite old school and some of the 90s cartoons, well, people, I'm the right man for the job. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I just uh, downloaded this app yesterday. My friend was raving about it. Now, I've checked it out before, but they didn't have all this much uh, content that they do now. But we're going to flip over right now. Let's check it out. Bam. Now, let's go ahead. You know, go in real close. And that is Tubi TV. Free movies and TV. Now, see, the reason why is this right here. Let's go ahead. Exit out of this right quick so I can bring it back. You know what I'm saying? Now, T now Tubi TV, they have everything. They got kids. They got movies, TV, category, and network they also got a network yes they do and this is their their network but we're gonna go right here you know well not the babies <laughs> lord have mercy let's go up here to kids let's just go up here to kids okay now the reason i'm saying this is let's go over is because of what they have on here and this is my list now, some of y'all, let me let me go up. Some of y'all remember some of the old school cartoons you grew up to. Saturday morning cartoons in the 80s was like the best thing happening for a kid. Because you set up here in the morning, and we're going to go back one step, and we're going to just slide over here. Because, see, the thing was, at the end of the day, you woke up at 5 in the morning, you watch cartoons at 5 in the morning to 12 in the afternoon. Then 12 in the afternoon, you went outside. You had fun. And it was just a glorious time growing up in the 80s as a kid, man. It was just the freaking best. So let's scurry over. First and foremost, as you see, the 1969 original Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? You can't miss that, man. Then we got the Flintstones. Wait a minute. That's Flintstones, 1960. Original Flintstones, you can't go wrong with that. Uh, the two now we're not going to focus on new cartoons like 2000. It's more about the 90s and the 80s. So we're going to skip that. We're going to go to Astro and the Space Much 1981, the year I was born. This is the My Little Pony Tales 1993, but they still have the old school look in it. My favorite cartoon next to the one next to it, and that's Chuck Norris Karate Commandos, 1986, the best of the best. Mr. T, man. Mr. T was like my favorite cartoon all out. I would just go nuts when the Mr. T, I would just go nuts over that. That was 1983. Then you had the Adams Family, 1973. They actually used to show this on Boomerang. This is the original. This ain't the all of the other, you know, uh, Sonic the Hedgehogs that you see out now. This is the 1993 original. As you see, it says the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog right there. Let me get kind of close. As you see, that's what it says because this was the original Sonic people. Then you had Archie. That was the 1968 version. You got 1968, The Adventures of Batman. You got the 1977, The New Adventures of Batman. You got the Superman that everybody loved, the 1988 Superman, where they really put detail in the comics and everything. It was just a best situation. You had Earthworm Jim, 1995. You had Jim, 1988. Jim was that, that, that show that every girl just loved. It was just about... Being rich and famous, being this girl, I think she went to high school or college, I don't remember, but she just, you know, turned into this rock star and just like rocked it out. You know, that's just basically what Jim was. But for all the girls, 
that were kids and all that. That's all they talked about was Jim, 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 Jim. But anyway, next, 1977 Cave, oh, Captain Caveman and the Teen Angels, man. That right there was a cool uh, cartoon all of itself. The Underdog Show, man. If you don't know about the Underdog Show, man, then we got problems. That's 1964. Then we got my favorite cartoon next to Mr. T, Garfield and Friends. That was 1988. Man, I used to watch the hell out of Garfield and Friends. Got Mr. Bean, but we're going to skip him. We're going to skip. Then we got Sonic Underground, 1998. That was a definite cool cartoon within itself. We're going to skip this. Then we got Pippi Longstocking. Even though it says 2016, Pippi Longstocking actually came out in the 90s. I don't know why they got it 2016, but this actually came out in the 90s. So just letting y'all know. We're going to skip this one. You got Super Mario World 1990, the best of the best. You got uh, Denver, the last dinosaur. He was like this cool dinosaur that these teens found, and that came out in 1998. Then you had 1996, the original My Little Pony. This was my sister's favorite cartoon growing up, man. She loved the hell out of My Little Pony original series. Then you got Weird L Show. Yes, he had his own TV show, 1997, we said, 80s and 90s. Then, we're going to skip this one. You have Bump in the Night. That was like a puppetry show, but at, but at the same time, you use animation, and it was all about scary stuff. Next, we got Popeye and Son. This was another favorite cartoon of mine. Came out in 1987. Dog City, 94. I remember this. This was a cool show, but they took it off real quick. Um, We're not going to talk about Donkey Kong. Uh, let's see, Cops, this came out in 1990, they don't show it, but it did, it was uh, basically about these cops that were regular cops and FBI agents, but at the same time, they had these, you know, it was like the future, it was like 2050 or 2030, to where they had all this technology and flying cars and stuff, so it was just real cool, you know what I'm saying, Next, uh, we're going to go to Legends of Zelda. Yes, people, if you have been born after the 80s, yes, people, Zelda, Legend of Zelda had his own cartoons. You can check it out right here on Tubi, man. 1989, then you had the text, the wacky world of Tex Avery. That was just a funny, it was like Mad TV, but on a Tex Avery type sign. That was 1997. You had Wildcats, man. 1995, that was the joint. 1999, Where on Earth is Carmen San Diego? That was a cool show. 1987, The New Archie. You had the Three Stooges cartoon, 1965. You had, uh, well, we're not going to talk about that one. We're not going to talk about that one. We had, uh, let's see, 1987, My Pet Monster. Um, you had 1966, Cool McCool, kind of, you know, old, old school cartoon, but it was cool in itself. Uh, we're not going to talk about Panics and Bear. You had Beetle Bailey. Yes, Beetle Bailey, 1963. That was a good cartoon. Um, 1993, Conan, The Adventures. That was like one of those good, it was like He-Man, but on a old school type of way. That was basically what it was. We had G.I. Joe, The Real American Hero. This is the original G.I. Joe cartoon. This is what started it all, and it was just the best of the best of the best. You had this G.I. Joe, then the original people, the original 1987 Transformer Generation 1. That was the original one. The more, that was the one with like Transformers. More than me, the sky. That was that transformer. If y'all want to know, we're gonna skip this one. Uh, Inspector Gadget, nineteen ninety three. This is the original Inspector Gadget. This is what I grew up on. I used to watch all the freaking time. I loved it. Uh, this oh, Tales from the Crypt cartoon, nineteen ninety three. 
man, this is one of those cartoons I used to watch on and on and on. And my cousin was like, oh, you just weird. No, I just like Tales from the Crypt. I like the actual HBO Tales from the Crypt, and I love the cartoon. Next, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to skip that. We got the other G.I. Joe. This is the other original one. This is the G.I. Joe, a real American hero. This is the, the first one that came out. The other one was the one that I grew up on, but it still came out in the 80s. But it's the 1983 G.I. Joe cartoon that I grew up on. I loved. It was just a beautiful situation. And then we got the Sabrina, the animated series. I showed this to like my great niece, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? 1989 All Star Special. It was just a special all cartoons. All Dogs Go to Heaven 1989. You gotta throw that in the mix. And of course, Wacky Old Elf 1990. You gotta throw him in the mix too, man. But you know, let's come back to me. Like I said, y'all, I just wanted to show y'all some of if you got that itch for some of your favorite old school cartoons and you just like wondering where to watch them. Check out Tubi. All you got to do, as soon as you go to Tubi, go to the kids area, click, yes, the kids area, click on it, and then as soon as you click on it, just scroll through, find some of your favorite 1980s and 1990 cartoons, and check it out. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's your boy, Richard. Thank you all so much for checking this show out, man. I just wanted to show you all this, man, because I just, I love the fact that now I have some of my favorite shows. I wish they had... The Smurfs on here, stuff like that. They don't. Maybe next time. You never know. But it's your boy Richard. Thank y'all so much. And I'll holler at y'all later.